Ryan Brown here with the Cinema Madhouse at the Bird Theater in Richmond, Virginia. As a, the documentary "You Can Call Me Bill" presented by GalaxyCon Richmond. I'm here with the film's producer Jeff Anderson. I'm one of the producers. Oh, one of lot, the producers. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, arguably the best looking producer. But uh, arguably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, you, you'll actually get a lot of arguments on that. So. Uh, so what was it like getting to work on a documentary about William Shatner, someone whose life has done so much and been such a giant impact on so many different people? Uh, you know, it's a great question. And when I started this project, I wasn't a William Shatner fan, per se. Um, but he became an advisor of Legion M, which is our company. And when we got a chance to know him, it's just he's such a fascinating and inspiring person. And so it was really, it's powerful. And I, you see it when you watch the movie. It's just it's, it's literally the closest you can get to spending an hour and a half and having a beer with William Shatner. And it's really, I think, you know, most people think of him because of his acting um, accomplishments and his 70 plus year career in the industry. But I think he's got more to teach us just as like a guy that's 93 years old and has lived one of the most extraordinary lives imaginable. And it's, he's a really a uh, fascinating person, so I, I hope you like it. <laughs> I, I hope I do too. Uh, so, but when Galaxy Con Richmond came to you and they're like, "Hey, your documentary premieres inter- or nationally, I believe internationally, in a week, March twenty second, we want to do an event the week of Galaxy Con that yeah. Friday night. We have a theater in town. Yeah. What was that process like?" I, uh, you know, the team at Galaxy Con is amazing, and uh, we've been working really closely. We it came together very last minute, as a lot of these things do. But like you said, so we are, the movie opens next Friday, and we're doing what's called our Rolling Red Carpet Tour. Our first stop is Richmond, Virginia. Our second stop is the Lincoln Center um, in New York City. Then we're going to Playa Vista in California, and then Culver City for a big premiere. And then our last stop is actually Bloomington, Indiana. And that's because, I, like I said, I'm with Legion M, which is a fan-owned entertainment company. And we wanted to take that red carpet experience and bring it out to the rest of us. Because, you know, give the sort of thing that normally only happens in L.A. Uh, and take it to wonderful places like this. Yeah, I, I got to say, it's a pretty special thing to be included in something like this. And I'll never be able to thank you enough for bringing it to Richmond as well. But when you were kind of like approaching William Shatner and you said, hey, we've got the idea to do this documentary about you. We really want to be able to tell your story in this format because you have such an amazing story. How did, what was that process when you went to him and you talked to him about that? Yeah, it's great. He talks about this a lot and I've heard him in interviews, but he said he's been approached for years, you know, so many people asking him to do a documentary about him and he just never felt like it was right, that chemistry didn't seem right. Um, And there were two things that sealed the deal for him. One is we brought an amazing director, an Alexander O'Fleet, who's a very accomplished, award-winning director. And Bill got a chance to meet him and feel comfortable with him. And he gave complete creative control to the director. So Bill did not have any veto rights. He didn't have any sort of, you know, like he just turned it over to the director and said, this is it. And again, Bill talks a lot about how he felt like this is a legacy piece. This is something that he is leaving for his great, great grandchildren. And he felt the obligation, the weight of future generations looking at this. But the other thing is, and again, this is me quoting him, but Legion M is a fan-owned company and we actually crowd financed this, right? So it's not a Kickstarter where people donated, but it was equity crowdfunding where people invested. So this movie that you're about to see tonight was completely financed and is completely owned by over 1,200 individuals that invested anywhere from $100 to $100,000 to own a piece of it. So any revenue that it makes from the box office goes back to those shareholders. And that to him was the clincher because he said, the fans are the ones that created and gave me my career and that like the ability to partner with them for this documentary was what made the difference. All right, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thanks for coming out.